Hey there, Shep. It is extremely rare for a police chief to testify against their own officer. But as you just heard, Chief Arredondo did not mince words. He said that Chauvin violated policy, and he said that once George Floyd was handcuffed and stopped resisting, Chauvin should have backed off. You're familiar with the term positional asphyxia? I am. Is that one of the dangers of leaving somebody in a prone, handcuffed position uh, for too long? Yes, if they're prone to handcuffed and there's pressure uh, around their airways or on their back, the, the risk and potential for them um, and us killing them goes up substantially. The chief, chief also revealed that he first been called about the incident around 9 p.m. that night before Floyd had been pronounced dead. Initially, he said he only saw the incident from a security camera across the street, and then nothing really jumped out at him. But later, around midnight, a community member told him about that bystander cell phone video that went viral. Now, Chauvin's defense team is arguing that an angry crowd of bystanders, uh, Shep, distracted the officers and that Floyd died from his drug use and because of his underlying health conditions. But the ER doctor who pronounced Floyd dead testified today that he thought Floyd died from lack of oxygen. In theory then for the cause of Mr. Floyd's cardiac arrest, oxygen, oxygen deficiency. That was one of the more likely possibilities. I felt that at the time, based on the information I had, it was more likely than the other possibilities. And, and doctor, is there another name for death by oxygen deficiency? Asphyxia. Now, it is a crucial point that both sides will continue to argue about throughout the week, especially when the county medical examiner testifies. Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.